Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this channel, Everyday Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts involved in data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I am going to solve this question on lead code regarding the number of rich customers and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions in such problems. Okay, so let's jump right in. We are given a table called store with three different columns, bill ID, customer ID, and the amount, and the data type being integer for all these three columns. The bill ID is the primary key for this table, so non-null unique values. Each row contains information about the amount of one bill and the customer associated with it. Okay, we are asked to write a SQL query to report the number of customers who had at least one bill with an amount strictly greater than 500. Okay, let's go through this example. So here we are basically given five different records with different bill IDs and since bill ID is the primary key so it would be non-null unique values and then the customer ID. So basically this bill was paid by customer ID 1 and the amount of the bill was $549 or whatever currency you want to think of. Now we want to return how many customers had an amount of 500 or more for a particular bill. Right. So basically the total number of distinct customers who have a bill amount of more than 500. So if we say we have three different rows, right? So 549, 834 and 657, all these three are greater than 500. So for the first two, the, it was associated with customer ID one and this one was associated with customer ID three, but it is asking report the number of customers who had at least one bill with an amount strictly greater than 500. So basically in total, although we have three different rows, but the number of customers, different customers are two, one and three. So the output should be two and the alias is rich count, right? So, and that is what we need to do. So basically, if you think about it, it is just a, again a filtering exercise, right? So we, if we go ahead and filter and keep only those rows where the amount is greater than 500 and then count the number of distinct customer IDs and alias it as rich count, we get the value, right? So let's develop the query. From the table called store, we are only keeping such rows where the amount is greater than 500, right? So what will happen? These two rows, row number three and row number five will be eliminated, right? So it would be excluded. So only three rows are remaining. And now what we do, we return the count of distinct customer ID. And since the output column has the name of rich count, so we alias this as rich count. Okay, so this makes sense and this looks good as well. Let me go ahead and run this. Okay, so this is accepted. Our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So yeah, this passes all the test cases and this is how we solve this problem. So this was a pretty straightforward question where all we need to do was filter based on a condition and then count the distinct customers. Hope it helped and let me know guys if this video was helpful to you and until then I will see you guys in the next video.